again and I'm at it again The crystal air I call my name Down gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal burn Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. All right, guys, welcome to day 21. Uh, full three weeks now we've been trapping. Uh, this, set, this set's been here the entire time, right off the side of the highway here. And I'll bet we're close to 12 to 15 coon off it now. It's been a really good producer. Uh, I just wish every one of my spots was like this, but 21 days, guys been a long 21 days but it's a grind but man we're just shy of 800 i four more days left for me uh hopefully we're gonna break 900 in that four days uh hopefully smash it even that'd be great but we're gonna get him taken care of get out of here guys we got also real nice butterball with legs here really really nice coon uh this location has been pretty slow here actually which is surprising uh with the corn up there and a nice timber piece behind me i expect to have some really good numbers off it but it just didn't happen uh boy he's a big boy but uh talking about the weather a little bit today it was overcast last night it's pretty warm yet too um i'm gonna guess it's probably low 40s uh maybe upper 30s yet overcast we're getting a slight sprinkle on us this morning i'm really hoping they moved well last night uh this is a sign that's looking like it sh they should have but time will tell guys so we're gonna get him taken care of get out of here all right guys yeah, that's another one here. Uh, definitely kind of a slow morning yet, but we haven't got to our fresh ground yet at all either. So uh, really hot, thought they'd move a little bit better, but you know, it's hard to say in yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But just a nice trail here actually going up to what was an old pond dam. You got corn on the other side and there's a pond and a draw coming up to it on the other side of the road. So we've taken, I think this is like number four or something off this trail. Uh, it's fair, but not, not anything too crazy, but Get him take care of get out of here all right guys here we are at that hot wire again uh this is definitely one of my better spots for coon but today we picked up a really really good looking skunk so we're gonna take our time get him dispatched the right way and uh starting to sprinkle a little bit on us here so hopefully it doesn't start cutting loose but nice nice skunk well this boy found himself a pretty nice little hiding spot here uh, at least he kept himself out of the rain and whatnot but you can see the trail going right up here guys just going up there to cut corn uh timber behind me same thing over and over again so uh, i most of them are coming through the tube there's a couple land trails coming down and over but most of them are coming right down the tube here so get him taken care of and uh get out of here all right guys uh this old piece we're just finishing up and we're doing all right we've got probably six coon in the back of the truck uh not great but definitely doing a lot better than yesterday uh Hopefully we can still get up around that 40 number. That'd be, that'd make for just a really great day for me. Uh, get well past the 800 mark, which is where I wanted to be when I went back to work and we're only seven off of it now. Matter of fact, I should count it because this might be number 800 itself, but just going to this tube, you got cut corn on the other side of the road. You know, I filmed this spot many times. There's a really nice trail going through this uh, thick grasses down into the, the good hardwoods, but nice trail. We've been here 21 days now, guys, and it's still producing all right guys we're starting to rack him up again uh this is three locations and three coons and this is just one of them big butter balls he is a big coon man that's a good coon but you can see the trail right behind him uh timber to timber location it's going to produce all year long we'll come back here late season probably pick up three or four more good boars all right guys we got us a nice double here uh one curled up here acting like i don't see him and then a really cool kind of light colored old old coon down there both big big three four x coon here uh this is that spot where i told you that i've never trapped before this is my first time ever setting on this trail and i think we've taken six seven coon off it now just a phenomenal location we're gonna get these guys to take care of and get out of here guys oh well, here we got a nice fun double uh good size possum and a really really active skunk uh, he's got that tail up already he's ready for action so we're gonna get these type guys taken care of uh hopefully without you know my wife wanting to kill me when i get home but uh hopefully it goes smoothly but we're gonna get these reset that's a good spot we've taken 
think five coon off this now so it's a pretty decent little place but we'll get them taken out of here guys all right guys we got us a nice little pair here they're not monsters but you can see the trail going right up there uh, amongst the trees going to cut corn on, right here behind me uh this has been set now for four days this is where i picked up a really nice skunk here i think it's four days i'm not even sure they all blend together but uh picked up a really nice skunk on it the other day and a few coon now so good little trail all right guys here we got a pair of little guys that that think they're something special uh they act tough anyway but today this will make this is three today so this will be 74 and five i believe that i'm letting go um i'm gonna have to keep track of it i gotta write them down when we get in the truck but um yeah just a couple little guys there's absolutely no value in them so we're gonna they're not gonna make the trip home with us all right guys uh this is the first raccoon on this trail um coming from this nice little cedar thicket and hardwoods uh we're just crossing the road we got cut corn over here guys that's all it is um i saw this trail and we threw a dog proof on it definitely kind of a an older coon and he's not real big uh and just kind of the looks of his hair and stuff i got a i got a feeling this coon might not have made it through the winter um he just does not look the healthiest to be honest with you i don't think it's distemper or anything but he's definitely an old coon you can tell by his mask uh, a lot of these coon have almost no teeth left we've got some really good coon that have almost zero teeth uh it's pretty hard for them to live much longer so mother nature will take care of herself and you know age catches up to him guys so get him taken care of get out hey of guys. here guys uh we're on that trail we caught that really pretty skunk here a couple days ago uh this trap up here is untouched but down here i saw my i saw my rat stretcher was hanging out there by itself and it's not the biggest guy but we got another 220 coon here i'll say it again i love my 220s i really wish i didn't live in such a populated area because i'd switch out all my dps for 220s almost they're just so awesome it's nice having these setters again yeah he tore up the tore it up pretty good down here but we'll we'll make it look fairly natural or as natural as we can look but it might just might just come down to it that we're down to 1220 up here uh certain sometimes they tear it up too much you really can't rebuild it but i think we'll be all right with this one we just got a fencer in pretty good you take the straps out of this hoodie yet but i mean it'll probably work guys uh, don't have a whole lot of a lot of options here but we'll give it a shot another coon going back to truck we are piling them up to you guys it is that's a good day not a probably not gonna hit no 50 number but we are catching some fur all right guys we got this trail coming out of this culvert i'm gonna get my fat shadow out of the way uh, and they're just coming up going up to this cut corn up here and we picked up another one so if you haven't noticed there's repetition here guys pretty much everything's timber to timber or timber to corn your low spots your high spots your lone trees your power poles that's where i'm catching these guys uh any landmark that sticks out to you is going to stick out to them well, we got us a really really good looking skunk right here in my shadow i'll get out of the way really pretty skunk problem is he found himself a hole so it's going to be a little more of a challenge uh, than we've dealt with before but we'll get him out of here one way or another well guys we are still stacking them uh nice big box tube here uh, I actually caught some muskrats out of this a few years ago, but a uh, really nice coon here. It's warm. It is 57 degrees right now. I'm about ready to lose the hoodie. It is hot. So as happy as I am to, to keep hammer and fur, that box is filling up quick and there's a lot of heat in there. So we might have to do an unload here or something, but uh, we're just about to our piece where we I set yesterday. Uh, I think we got two more locations to check and then we're we're on completely virgin ground. So really excited about that. All right, guys, first spot of virgin ground. Nice double. Uh, you can kind of see the trail there going underneath the evergreen tree. Uh, this is just coming from a fence line that goes up to a, a hog confinement here, guys. That's all it is. You can see the trail on this side 
a little bit, but I'm preserving it over here. I'm gonna throw a snare on it. Normally catch a coyote or two off this every year too. But on the other side, uh, there's just no area for a coyote really to be funneled down. So we're gonna go after coon over here, but nice double, hell yeah. So we're three for three on fresh ground. Going right up underneath this cedar tree. On the other side of the road is a massive cedar tree. Uh, just these things that stand out to these coon. That's where those trails are gonna be, guys. Hey. All right, guys. Uh, awesome location here. We're on that virgin ground and kicking butt. We got a nice coon here. On the other side, we got some nice coon way down in this bottom with a 220. Right down there. Nice size coon it looks like over here. So good double guys love that all right here we are on that fence line uh, with that really subtle hidden trail down here come down in here and look and nothing nope all right guys we got some angry one down here he's really talking to me uh decent coon nothing huge but just these two tubes here this is the spot where i told you the fence uh the farmer took the fence to the road but they knocked this one down through it in the water but we're gonna get them both reset and get out of here the box is filling up today we are looking at some pretty good numbers again uh hoping to be around 40 but time will tell the box is filling up yes it's gonna be a good day all right guys this is the last spot Woo! that made me a little nervous this is our last spot of virgin ground that i set we didn't set a whole lot of it, but you know, we did get some. We took, we ended up going to keep eight coon off of that ground that we set. Uh, may not sound like much, but you know, if you add 10 or 12 sets every day, that's going to keep getting these numbers growing for you. Uh, you know, if I wouldn't have set this little piece here throughout the course of four days, that might be, you know, 20 coon, 15, 20 coon. So every little bit helps, guys. We're going to get him taken care of. Uh, it's just past lunchtime. We're going to go grab us some lunch here in a little bit actually got four more spots that are uh, five day old line to check yet uh, get them taken care of hopefully got something down there and grab some lunch and then we're gonna go set the uh, private ground for those kids that i'm taking next couple days uh should be fun for them hopefully catch some muskrats and coon on the creek system should be a good time so we are out of here all right guys uh that wind's whipping here but we're setting up this creek system uh trying to catch some muskrats coon maybe even some beaver and otter for those boys tomorrow and monday uh right here i just made kind of a little poke hole set um i mean it's kind of a half whatever pocket um basically i'm just kicking my foot in the bank i really like this high quality uh muskrat cherry oil muskrat number three um bruce Rhodes at backwater bait uh owns the high quality the merrick's line now all i'm doing guys sticking a q-tip in there sticking it right here in the bank and that'll catch muskrat and coon like no other uh, the wind's going to be really whipping tonight, so I don't know if the muskrats are going to come out and play very much, but a uh, really, really killer muskrat set for me. We're going to put a couple down here and uh, try to get out about a dozen sets along this creek and see what we can come up with the next couple days. I'm pretty excited to set this up for those boys tomorrow, guys. We are going to catch some coon on this. Man, what a trail. Uh, just a little feeder creek going all the way down through the tube here to the big water system great location guys great location all right so we're out here setting a little bit of um a road line that i'm going to take those boys on tomorrow too uh we're going to keep them off of any major gravel roads but this road's about three mile stretch and it's only got a couple houses on it so not a lot of traffic but hard to tell especially with my shadow in the way but coming right down through here is a nice coon trail it don't look like much guys but uh that's definitely somewhere we're going to pick up some coon also uh bj pointed this out to me something dug up a beehive here uh kind of crazy we're thinking probably skunk um i mean there's just honeycomb everywhere down here uh kind of interesting uh probably skunk most likely but i've never seen anything like that before so kind of neat guys you never know what you're gonna see on the trap line all right guys uh here we are we set that private ground up a little bit uh, we didn't get quite the sets out there we wanted to. Um, a couple other guys were out there sighting in their rifles. And it just, you know, we got a few sets out, but we'll get more out tomorrow. But I uh, got to that piece that I set for seven days. We went through and reset a bunch of it yesterday. It's not really paying off today. This is our first coon on it. We checked probably 10 locations already, but 
really nice coon but i was hoping to have a little more action than this but it's a long ways up to the truck that bank's up there a bit so we'll get him taken care of and uh get out of here we still got about six more locations checked maybe eight and uh hopefully have a few more thrown back the truck all right guys so here we go again with a really old old looking coon uh i'm in a bad spot here you can actually reach me but really old looking coon uh doesn't have the best coat on him he's got a real bad rub spot on his neck i see uh yeah we'll probably yeah he's got a big sore back there we'll probably go ahead and put him out of his misery but uh not exactly a great coon but it is what it is guys all right guys so we just got home for the day uh it was a good day i will not complain about it not quite what i was hoping for but it was a good day uh came home with 34 including these two just absolute monster coons i'm probably gonna weigh that top one there it's got to be got to be pushing 30. uh we got three nice skunks kind of all three all three colors right here very little white the normal white and a really white one so uh all in all good run today i'll take the 34 uh 34 on top of 793 what is that 827 i think 827 is what we're at so i'm happy with it uh broke eight for work and we still got three days we set a few more traps today and hope for another good run tomorrow